Oh, he wasn't expecting to see her. He got scared. Oh. <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah, I think that's from one of the hawks, you think? Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Oh. Hi. Hello. <laughs> She's crawling I through the forest. I thought, I thought Manu grabbed you. You guys look like a... Well, the cat's definitely sneaking out, though. You can Good see. Good job, Manu. Oh, Uh-oh, his ball. Oh, my. We just through the water, obviously. So you can go on the bridge. <laughs> you can go on the bridge. That's made. Good job, Manu. Oh, what is she doing? She's, like, like sneaking up. Down the steps. <laughs> Somebody's actually using them. Good kitty. Kitty. Oh. <laughs> oh, here's a beast. Hi. Ah. Uh oh. <laughs> Baby hawks are still up in the tree. Pretty sure there are three of them. I can only see one right now. Every time I come out here to visit the Hawks, I whistle We Three Kings to them in hopes that they remember who I am. I'm having a major ant problem. This year is ants are everywhere. I have ants everywhere and they are eating everything. Okay, not everything, but a lot of things. They're eating a lot of things probably one of the downfalls of having sandy and soil sandy soil is that none of this is perfect for ants so um, I got this a few days ago and I've used it once it's a it's called organicide a three-in-one garden spray um, it's supposed to be for nets for organic gardening um, it doesn't harm uh, good pollinators which is important, uh, but it kills insects, aphids, white flies, fungus gnats, and more by contact and controls diseases as listed. So this is a concentrate. Um, I have to put, mix three ounces of this in one gallon of water. This is Lex's pumper. And I use that to, to spray the garden um, and help control some of the pest issues. It, my big problem right now is my sweet potatoes. I believe this takes care of this problem. I got my pumper ready to go, filled with the solution. Um, this pump here came from Home Depot. It's a one gallon, um, about, I don't know, $9 or so eat something and then the organicide uh, concentrate was about $14.95 for a 32 ounce bottle of concentrate so here is the sweet potato vines uh, they are really taking a hit Let's see if I can find any of the culprits in here this one looks really bad the ant crawl around on it. Some kind of shiny beetle is in there. I don't know, they're just having a party. They're just having bug party. Pest party. Yep. They're hard to see, but they are there. something on the back of this one growing. I don't know what that is. I don't want to touch it without my glove on. Yeah. Oh. So 
area. take this just regular ground cinnamon shaker and put it around the base of the plants because ants just don't like cinnamon and this kind of comes out fast but all right so we've got organicide sprayed on the top and bottom of the leaves and I did put it on the ground too and now we're gonna have cinnamon. Ooh, there's a little ant there. You don't like that. Yeah. You little ant. You don't like that. You ain't gonna get that baby sweet potato. Mm mm. Dragonfly. So the last piece of my ant pie puzzle is the mint. So I read that ants don't like mint, and to plant your mint uh, and plant mint in your garden to help with that. I don't want mint in the garden. Um, I might think about potting up some of these. I can just pull down the roots and propagate. It's not hard and it's insane. Um, but until then, I'm just going to go ahead and cut a bunch of mint sprigs and lay them around each sweet potato. And they'll dry garment. When it comes to the pest, to be proactive and have all your supplies on hand. I didn't have uh, pesticide related uh, supplies on hand and that's why I went to the store. Um, but if I'd already had it on hand, I could have just take care of it the first time I saw it. Application of the organicide about four days ago. Um, but I really should have been out here like every day probably to reapply until the problem uh, started to go away, but instead it got worse because I didn't keep up on it. You know, with the cinnamon, uh, if I had done the cinnamon and my little mint trick that I'm gonna try, you know, four days ago, um, I probably would have had a lot less damage by this point. Don't procrastinate, that's what I'm saying. See a problem, take care of it right away because it turns into a bigger problem very quickly. <laughs> I took the mint sprigs and I laid a bunch uh, around the base of each of my sweet potato vines so just an added layer of deterrent for these ants so it's been a couple days since uh, the last scene that you saw and I've learned a little bit um, from Instagram friends about what is going on with these sweet potatoes. Um, originally, I thought it was ants, and ants might have um, something to do with all of the pest damage that I'm having on the sweet potatoes, but uh, what it actually is, is a tortoise beetle. Um, I have seen this tortoise beetle on the vines uh, numerous times since uh, shooting the last couple scenes um, from a few days ago. And they are a shiny gold or silverish beetle, um, about the size of a ladybug, but these are not your friends. <laughs> um, and they are still uh, wreaking havoc on the sweet potato vines, um, even after applying the organicide multiple times throughout the week. Um, so I'm gonna attempt using um, just a concentrated neem oil now to see if that is gonna help at all. That's my last resort before using something like Seven Dust, which I don't wanna use. I'm getting pretty close to that because the damage that is being done to these sweet potato vines is pretty severe at this point, And I'm really getting nervous that I'm gonna lose the plant, so. 
I just wanted to show how severe the damage has become on these sweet potato vines. Um, luckily, the plant is still alive. I mean, the leaves aren't turning brown and dying yet, but the tortoise beetle um, is really creating a lot of holes in these plants and I'm getting nervous that it's gonna come to a point where they're not gonna be able to recover. Um, here's a prime example. Okay. That is a tortoise beetle. There's actually two there. They are mating on this leaf. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick them off and get a jar of soapy water and dump them in there so they stop coming on um, and I'm gonna be using neem oil this time to spray these um, but like I said I am coming to a point where these plants are very sick with all of the holes there's not a lot of new growth coming on um, so if the neem oil doesn't take care of it quickly I might have to resort to a more drastic measure to save these plants. Here is another tortoise beetle. So this one has more of a goldish color where the other one I just showed you is kind of more of a silver. So I mean they're pretty but these are not friendly to your garden. So sweet potatoes are part of the Convolvulaceae family. Hopefully I pronounced that right. I'll put the title there so you can read it. Um, and it's the same family as Morning Glory. So if you've seen a Morning, morning Glory, you know that they have um, their, their vining plants, uh, which is what the sweet potatoes are. And the tortoise beetles, um, which are also known as a golden beetle, uh, they love to eat those plants. So um, from my research, they don't come in the numbers where they're actually going to completely yeah. kill the plant. <laughs> Um, but they can do some serious harm, which you've seen just now, because honestly, I am afraid to lose them. Yep, we don't want them to die and my arse. So what I'm going to be using is this right here, neem oil. This is a 16 ounce bottle. Um, I found this one at Walmart for somewhere between $8 and $12. I don't really remember exactly how much it was. I'm going to use two tablespoons of this with a half gallon of water. I'm going to put that in Alexis Pumper and throw that on the sweet potatoes. Um, so I sprayed all of the sweet potato vines with the neem oil um, and also picked off all of the tortoise beetles. Um, this is how many I got. Oh, a little bit of work tonight to take care of all that. Still do have the ant problem. Um, there still are tons of ants crawling all over the sweet potatoes. So uh, the cinnamon and the mint trick that I tried, um, I, the jury's out on it. I mean, for me, it didn't seem like it worked. Um, maybe for others, it would work better. I don't know, uh, but for me, it didn't really seem to help. So. You know, take it for what you will. If you want to try it, go for it and let me know if it worked out or if you did something different and I could try it. But still some ants, um, but really the, the main pest issue on the sweet potatoes are the tortoise beetles. I will keep you updated on how it works out um, on another video. I'll keep you posted and hopefully we see some results here in the next few days. I really appreciate all of your support and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.